Hi guys! This week's episode I'm going to be a little more serious than I have been before. So this week's subject is about insulin resistance. It's a kind of boring but very interesting and important a subject that I'm going to to talk about today. I'm going to answer questions like what is insulin resistance, what can you do about it and why is it so critical to be insulin resistant. If you are as geeky as I am and always want to learn more you can always go into my website and learn more there and see what I'm posting. You can also, if you just want to have some inspiration and maybe some new ideas or how, whatever, you can go to my Instagrammy and follow me there. I'm posting often like pictures of food or recipes and small videos on, on different food I'm eating. In the description below, as usual, I have put up a link to a a ketogenic checklist if you're just starting out with a ketogenic diet and want to have some bullet points and something to follow I have 10 tips for you there so uh, I give that for you so you just can start out on a good way on the ketogenic diet. I'm over with a small tack now so let's dive right into my uh, insulin episode. So the first thing uh, I want to tell you guys about is two books that I have been reading uh, it's uh, two books about insulin that is made from a doctor called uh, Agneta Schneider, I think you pronounce it. She's a really, really, really good doctor and she is writing about how your insulin is affecting your body. It's so, so, so important and a very big factor of all the health health uh, problems people have today with heart disease and all this kind of gross uh, disorders like diabetes, diabetes and everything. So she's writing about everything. Uh, she, I have put up in the description below a link to to this author on CDON. Uh, it's a Swedish company and I don't think this is uh, actually in English. But these is two sources I am using very, very much. This is like my dictionary on insulin. So uh, for you Swedish guys uh, that want to check this out, you can find it in the description. It's not affiliate link, so don't bother. I'm, I'm not getting a profit or anything. So if you just like, oh my god, what is insulin resistance? Everyone is talking about it, but I don't know what it is. Is it wrong with me? No, I will dis I will explain this for you. When you're eating a lot of carbs, your body is going to respond with the hormone insulin that is going to take this energy, uh, the glucose, and serve it and get it into the cell. A lot of people is describing insulin like a key that is locking up the cells so the glucose can come into the cell. The thing that is happening when you always like uh, have a high blood sugar level is that your body is producing more and more insulin because the cells is full. So when the insulin is trying to lock up this uh, cell to get more, uh, glucose into the cell it's already full so it can't like move in more so uh, the body is responding with producing more insulin and that is going in the beginning to work to get in the glucose into the cell because it's very critical to have a high blood sugar level it's very critical for your arteries and your vesicles your blood vesicles and like everything so you need to lower your blood sugar. So the main thing is that uh, the body have a high production of insulin, but the body or the cell can't take in anymore because they are full. So this situation, when you're having a high blood sugar uh, level and you uh, can't get it into the cell, you uh, get into a pre-diabetic state when you constantly have a high blood sugar level and it's easy for the body then to go over after a couple of years when this have been going on the body is going into a diabetes mode and you um, have a really problem with taking in blood sugar into your cell. Take care of your insulin re levels and don't eat too much carbs that the main uh, message for you. How do you know if you are insulin resistant? 
well, I have some tips for you. Your first thing you should do is to go to your doctor and measure your fasting blood sugar and your long-term blood sugar. My second advice for you to see if you're insulin resistant is to measure your waist size. As a male, you shouldn't have over 103 centimeters on your waist. And for women, you shouldn't have over 88 centimeters in your waist. Another tip is that you can measure your blood pressure and then you shouldn't have over 140 to 90. If you measure your fasting glucose numbers in the morning, you shouldn't be having over 5.6 millimolar. If you go to the doctor, uh, you can also try and test your HDL particles. And the numbers you should watch out for here is that you shouldn't be have less than 1.03 millimolar. If you are a woman, you shouldn't be having less than 1.29. You should also ask your doctor to watch for your LDL particles, the small LDL cholesterol particles, because those is the most important and most dangerous cholesterol that you should watch out for. So guys, what can you do if you, get, if you realize that you have insulin resistance? Well, um, you can do a ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet is a really powerful tool that you can use to lower your blood sugar and lower insulin and you lower your blood sugar because the ketogenic diet is maintainly considering a fat and fat isn't raising your blood sugar it gives you even more energy but on less like food uh, service if you want to learn more about the ketogenic diet and ketogenic lifestyle i have a lot of videos you can check out and there is a lot of other people too that is talking about the ketogenic diet okay guys that was everything for today if you liked this video and it brought some value for you please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me and want to get some notification when I'm uploading new content about health and ketogenic diets. So to the next week, take care, live healthy and live fully.